Uh, my name is Precious Nyaku. I am co-founder of a startup called PaySale. And uh, what PaySale does is that we are rethinking payroll for African businesses by optimizing it to be able to do local taxes out of the box. So after school, I tried working, I worked as an accountant with a financial institution for a while. And I worked there long enough to know that that wasn't the thing for me. So <laughs> I, I got out of school. Um, I applied to join the Meltwater School of Technology. And what they do is they train young people, young Ghanaians, in software and entrepreneurship every year. So I got a scholarship to go there. And I really wanted to learn to create software. And more importantly, use that to build sustainable business in Ghana. You know, there are days I feel like banging my head against the wall. There are days I almost question whether this is what I really want to be doing. And some of those challenges have been around customer acquisition and trust, especially in Ghana. Businesses are really not yet used to the idea of online software. You know, they want to see a CD. They want to see something they can touch. So when you come in and say, I have this web-based payroll service, it takes quite a bit of convincing. The other has been getting partners, you know, to really help us get to a larger uh, market. You know, um, banks don't want to talk to you when you're a startup. That's also really hard. And, you know, other institutions keep telling you, come back to us after you have 10,000 users. But we need you to get to 10,000 users. Test, test, and test. Test everything from your assumptions about your customers to your assumptions about your own business model. Because when we started out, I like to think we were drinking something or smoking something. Because a lot of the things we projected were really over optimistic. You know, we're thinking customers were going to come in day one and everything was going to run smoothly. So we sort of jumped too early to product development. I would have spent more time validating the idea with real customers. Well, the vision for me really is to make this product Pan-African, you know. We keep talking about how we're optimizing payroll for Africa. You know, I want to be able to handle Kenyan tax so that Kenyan businessmen don't have to think about it. I want to be able to do the same thing in several African countries. Advice for me would be to be honest, most of all with yourself. It's easy to, you can easily, you know, put up a front and make everyone else think that things are all jolly and nice. But you, if you tell your own self lies, I think that's one of the worst things you can do when you're running a startup.